welcome back to my channel and welcome the newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey by hitting that subscription button. It's free and hit the bell notification to be notified of the new uploads. I would just like to mention that if the video is a little bit too fast for you, up top there's three little buttons. You can click there, slow down the video to the speed you'd like. Also right next to it, there's the CC uh, letters for closed caption. You can turn that on. And you can read all the stitch that I'm calling down here by pausing the video. Take notes will make it easier for you. Now, normally when I upload um, the videos, it takes about an hour for YouTube to uh, search all my words that I'm saying. So it can appear on the closed caption. So don't panic if you don't see right away the closed captions because the video has just been launched. It will show up in about a half an hour to an hour after the upload. I also would like to mention that if you have extra yarn, extra thread, and you'd like to help the women in need, we highly appreciate it and being very, very grateful for it. Thank you for the ones that already have helped and are still helping. If you'd like to donate right below the video, there's a little bag of dollar sign. You can donate whatever amount you'd like. Nobody's asking for millions. Anything helps. It adds up at the end. Uh, you can also go into the description box. My PayPal account is there. You can donate through there if you'd like also. Please always give a thumbs up on the video if you like the video. It does help the video to circulate and also uh, to be recognized worldwide. I gratefully appreciate it. Thank you so much. That's one way to help me out and to help to continue to create these beautiful pieces. Um, also share on your Facebook public. It costs nothing. It's everything is free. There's no charge of anything. So please help out to grow the channel. I do have a Facebook group, a uh, private group. If you have a profile, you're more than welcome to uh, request to be a member. It's free, of course, and uh, we'll approve you. You must have a profile. Be careful with the links that you go into the groups that says cut and bit. These are fraud uh, scammers that go through your phones, your computers, and take every information of yours. Do not open up those links. There's a lot of hackers in the groups now. That's why I made sure that my group is private. Uh, I want to thank every single one of you from the start uh, being with me, and uh, thank you so much for the newcomers. It costs nothing to subscribe, so please do so. Thank you so much, everybody. Everything will be listed always in the description box for every pattern that I create, the sizes, the thread that I use, which is Portugal thread. They are 100% cotton thread, four ply, which is similar to Aunt Lydia, number three, which num number three Aunt Lydia is just a little bit thicker than my thread, not by much, but a little bit. I usually use a hook three or 3.5, a small one for tucking in loose ends and a pair of scissors, of course. So thank you, everybody. Uh, any other questions, suggestions, please feel free to uh, comment. You can always get a hold of me if your intentions are to uh, give some thread or yarn away. There's my email below the description box. There's my Facebook page that you can follow also, my Facebook group, my Instagram, my TikTok. So there's so many ways you can message me. Thank you so much, everybody. I hug every single one of you and much blessings to all of you. Okay, let's get started. Okay, everyone. So I had launched this beautiful um, flower that I did a tutorial on for a pineapple table runner that I'm going to create out of it. Now I'm going to have on each side four leaves, four leaves on this side, four leaves on this side, because on these two sides here is the pineapple. So what I did was, it might not be exactly the same uh finishing stitch here of count that means uh equal it doesn't matter it doesn't change anything as long as you put um the exact amount on both sides for the uh, leaves because we can play with the uh, stitch here for the pineapple so i did four leaves i will leave the tutorial to the leaves down below in the description box when you're about to do uh, the last row um which has five rows so we have one two three four and five on your fifth one obviously you do the first one there's no attachment but when you do the second uh we as we're doing the fifth row we are attaching on the last corner here and also here into the pattern that's why we have one row left 
of the pattern here uh, from the flower and we keep attaching it's very simple i will show you um once and then you can go ahead and create your four on this side so i've divided 20 um 20 uh, space okay and i did put markers on it so 20 space on this side uh, i believe that there's 21 to 24 on this side even if it's not uh, exactly the same thing just make sure that you can play around and put your 20 space on both sides here so it can match up because here we can cheat but here it makes it difficult or else your leaves will be uh, turned sideways okay I'll show you the pineapples I had created this many years ago now it's becoming very popular again on the internet but I can't even remember I think at least a good seven or eight years ago I had created this and this was done um, with Aunt Lydia number 10, uh, but I doubled my thread, okay? So it's just, this was the center, which will be the flower now. I'm not doing the center. I'm just going to continue from here on. So this is the pineapple, and then there's the baby one there. And I've also added um, the tassel in the end. Okay, it's on both ends. So you have the two pineapples. The only thing I'm not doing is the centerpiece. I'm going to start creating it from here, let's say from here on to the side of the flower. Okay, so we're going to do the, the first leaf and I'll show you. By the way, there's two sides of this leaf. There's the flat side, which you see the space here. You must put the side that's up so it can pop up your leaf as almost um, a 3D. Okay, so I will leave all the links below uh, to the flower, to the leaves, and um, the measurements once we're done, and so on, because this is a four ply 100% cotton thread. It's almost the same as Aunt Lydia, uh, number three. So, and of course, I'll be using white for the uh, pineapple okay and i might do um, some decor at the end of the pineapple so and always look ahead of the video because i keep changing my mind into things i like to create different things all the time so let's get started everyone um uh, like before i forget so we'll be using um 3.5 hook or a three it doesn't matter um, I'll see as I go with my stitch, a little small one to tuck in loose ends and a pair of scissors. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important to have it recognized by YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and hit that bell notification. Thank you so much for the super thanks donation. And thank you for the women that came through to help out other women in need of yarn. And if you haven't yet, please consider. It's really important and they definitely need it and are very grateful, and so am I. Thank you, everyone. Just want to remind you, I think the tutorial, I'm not sure if it's done with 17 chain stitch. This one, I'm doing it with 15 stitch, uh, chain stitch. So in case you go to the leaf tutorial, and it's a 17, well, you can do 17. It will just be a little bit bigger, but I'm just letting you know that this one, I'm creating it with a 15 chain stitch, okay? Okay, everyone, so I'm pretty much, as you can see, on one side I have four, and the other side I have five. Obviously, we've been working now on the last row, so because it's the first one, we have to complete it. So when you get to the center, you want to turn your pattern, okay? And you're going to come in where you have your, your marker, because it's 20. So you want to just, you know, level it up the same way as the other side. So you turn your pattern, you continue to finish. So I did a single. And I'm going to come in the same space as I did my single in there. You'll see the tutorial and you'll know what I'm talking about. And then back loops, of course, only. And you finish doing the last side here of the five rows. 
Now, I might have to also go to video too because, you know, as with pineapples, there's a lot of detailing to it. So I'm sure I won't have enough memory to do only one video. So I'll probably have to go to part two for that. But um, I will always link everything below and in the description box about part two. So, okay. So, so we leave always two to chain behind, which is the corner one here and this one. I'm going to do one chain. I'm going to turn around and come into the last one we did here with a slip stitch. So I have my first leaf put up and then of course we're going to tuck in the loose end because the next one we're going to attach it onto this corner here, right? So we want to get this already over and done with and not bother to come back for it. I like to finish up the product right away so I don't have to deal with it anymore. Okay, on to the next leaf. Okay, so I'm on... My fifth one again, obviously I'm going to work it. I'm going to tie it here, here, and then work the rest. Got to make sure that it's not on the flat side, so we need to turn our pattern. I'm going to come here on this sleeve, and right at the corner, I'm going to do a single. So I'm going to attach it, and then continue on with the back loops all the way down to the center. Now, you have to go accordingly the same way as you did here on the space with these leaves. So on this one here, I went into the seventh space, so that means I have to count from where the hook is, the marker. One, two, three, four, five, six. On my seventh one, I'm coming in with a single. Because sometimes, you know, you have to cheat a bit here and there. Sometimes you could have a six chain space or um, a five. So you have to go with the flow because they're not uh, even numbers all the way around on the white one, right? Okay, so then you just continue on, finish up. You leave the two space, the last two space you don't do. So you have these last two space here, one, two, do one chain, turn around, come back into the same one with the slip stitch. And I think I pulled right through my thread. And then you repeat the same thing with the other two. Okay, and then you would, you would attach the other two. So you have to look on this space here. So you count one, two, three, four. You go into your fifth, and then you look into the last one. One, two, three, four. You go into your fifth. Okay, so it's a little bit cheating here and there, but we'll get it done. Okay, you guys, so I pretty much completed already one side of the pineapple and did my four leaves on each side so you're going to get an idea what it looks like more or less and of course I told you from the beginning that I would be decorating the pineapple now the only difference that I did not do I did not do the last pineapple because I wouldn't have enough thread to complete but what I will do is I will be doing a tutorial on this pineapple completely with um with the thinner thread. This thread that I'm using is a, a size uh, four ply, but it's the same thickness as Aunt Lydia number three, because here in Portugal, we have two different sizes of, of four ply, uh, three ply, 
or four ply, sorry. And the one that I usually use a lot, it's a little bit, not by much thinner than Aunt Lydia number three, but this one is exactly the same size as Aunt Lydia number three. And I won't have enough to complete the two little pineapples at the edges. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. And we're going to do the, the um, other side, of course. And now I know the camera is small, but this is what it looks like. And I've added some hearts and some pearls in between. This is optional for you if you want to do it. If you want to leave it as is, then that's fine too. You can leave it as is. If not, you can do the hearts and the little um, beads here on them. And at the edge, I did just peacocks to finish it off. I didn't want to do a heart because if I did a heart here, I wouldn't have anywhere to, um, to hook on here at the end. So I did uh, three peacocks on each side because you have to do one side and then do the other. So I think um, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it became very, very nice. Now what you have to do is if you're going to do the, the hearts, you will have to block um, your pattern so it can stretch enough for you to do the hearts, okay? And what I usually do is, if I can find my little bottle somewhere, um, oh, I think I still left it where I've used it to block it. Anyway, it's um, laundry softener in a little bottle. I spray, I stretch, and I light ironed over it and stretched with my hands at the same time as I'm ironing so it can be nice and flat and stretched out so I can do the hearts and it falls in perfect, okay? So I put laundry softener in here. That's it. That's all. No water, no nothing. It's going to block. It, you know, just spray and stretch with your hands and light iron if you're if you're in a rush like I am to do the tutorial. If not, you can leave it flat in the surface and let it dry. But to me, I usually just spray and iron over it and stretch it with my hands and it dries up and it stiffens up a bit so it doesn't go anywhere and it blocks my pattern. So now we're going to continue to do uh, the other side. Another thing is once we do the tutorial on, once I do the tutorial, not we, because you're just following, right? Uh, on that side, you can rewind the video and follow through. Put your closed caption on to make sure if you want to take notes, pause, it makes it easier. Or once we do that side, you can just put um, markers on each row that you go through on this side. So when you're doing that side, you can confirm if you're doing the right thing and also follow with the video at the same time. I think it makes it easier for anyone to do it, okay? So let's continue on. I'm gonna take my markers off because I don't need my markers anymore. And we're gonna continue on from here. So we're going to do the slip stitch knot. I'm going to come to the one right after where I have my leaf. Trying to hide my thread here at the same time. I'm going to do a single and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine chain. I'm going to skip one, two, three, four, five. On my sixth one, I'm going to do a single.
I'm going to do chain nine again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five on my sixth one. I'm going to do a double crochet. I'm going to do chain five, two, three, four, five, and come back in the same space and create a V like that. Chain nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five on my sixth space, single, and chain nine again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five on my sixth. So that's just before the leaf, single. Okay, I've turned my work around. We're going to do one, two, three. Just want to make sure here. Chain three. I'm going to count. One, two, three, so I'm going to count one, two, three, four, on my fifth one, we're going to create two groups of three double crochet inside of the same space, so I have two, three, two chain space, and three more in the same space. So we're creating a little shell, I think that's what we call it. And then chain three, two and three. We're going to count again from the next one. So to the fifth space, one, two, three, four on your fifth space. We're going to create that shell again. Three double crochet, two chain in the same space. Three more double crochet. Okay, so we've done the second shell. We're going to do chain three, one, two, three. We're going to come inside of the V with a double crochet. And now we're going to do chain 10. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back in and create another double crochet. So we're going to have a bigger V, okay, because this is where we're going to do 20 double crochets inside of here on the next row for the pineapple. One, two, three, and go into one, two, three, four on your fifth one and create your groups of shell. Three double crochet, two chain space and three more double crochet chain three one two three count again one two three four fifth space 
and do your other shell. So basically we're doing the same thing as we started off. Chain two and three more double crochet. One, two, and three. And we're going to do a double crochet on top of this single that we did here at the beginning. Like that. Okay. I made a mistake here. There's no chain here. We're just going to do a double crochet. That's why it's always important to look ahead of the video. And we're going to come directly where we did the single and do a double crochet. Okay, so directly from the shell. So we're going to turn around and we're going to do the walk. I call it the walk with a slip stitch to the center of the shell and we're going to cre create shell again. Now on both sides these two shells will be created all the way to the end. So I come inside with a single chain two and create my shell again. Three double crochet, two chain and three more double crochet. chain three. This will always stay the same on this side and the other side, the same way all the way to the end of the pattern. The two shells and the three chains will always stay the same, okay? Because I'm not going to record all the way to the end. Um, it's going to be repeatedly after we finished uh, starting the pineapple, okay? So chain three again. And inside of this big V that we did of 10 chains, we're going to do 20 double crochets, okay? So this shell, the three chains in this shell and the three chains will always stay the same on this side as it will stay here on this side also. And we're always going to walk slip stitch to the center each time we're turning our pattern to create the shells. Once we finish doing, we walk to the center, okay? So I'm gonna do my 20 and then come back to you. So I've done my 20 double crochets, chain three, one, two, and three, and we're gonna create the shells again exactly like we did on the other side. So this is always gonna stay the same here on both sides, okay? Create your shell then chain three and create your shell. I'll meet you here on the last uh, shell. Okay, so chain three, the shell, chain three, the shell. We're gonna turn around. We're gonna do the walk. Always we have to do the walk to the center of the shell. Slip stitch slip stitch and single chain two and continue to do the, your shell okay so i meet you here at the center of the pineapple because everything stays the same shell three chains shell three chain i'll meet you at the center so i've done my shell my three chain my shell and at the end will be exactly the same thing chain three i'm coming on top of the first double crochet and i'm going to repeat again the double crochets over double crochet so i'm going to have the 20 double crochets over double crochet okay so we'll do the 20 double crochets all the way to the end to the last one we'll have 20 We'll do chain three exactly as we did here. We'll do the, the shells. Chain three, the shells. We're gonna turn around. We're gonna do the walk to the center, do the shells. Chain three, do the shells. 
and then I'll meet you here on this shell on the other side, okay? Because it's just a repeat now. I said I would meet you at the other side, but I want to make sure that you're not getting confused. So it's 20 double crochets over double crochet of the 20 from the previous row. Chain three and continue your shells again, okay? So I've done, I've turned around, I've done my shells, my three chain, my shell, my three chain, and I'm coming into the first double crochet again. Difference is this time we're doing one chain space in between double crochets, okay? So double crochet, one chain, next space, double crochet, one chain, next space, double crochet, one chain. So we'll have the 20 double crochets just the same, separated space of one chain. Okay, and then we're going to continue to do the three chain after our last double crochet, the shell, three chain, the shell, turn around. We're going to do the walk into the center, create the shell, the three chain, the shell, and I'll meet, meet you here on this one on the other side. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much did what I needed to do on this side with the Double, uh, double crochet, one chain, three chain. Anyway, the groups I turned around is my three chain. Here I am on the three chain. Now we're going to start to do the pineapple and go into the center between the first and the second double crochet. One, two, three. The second uh, loop. One, two, three. So we're going to continue to do this all the way to the end and then nothing changes we're going to do the three chain and we're going to continue to create the group so I'll meet you at the end here of the loops of the pineapple so we've done the pineapple and we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen chain loops of three chain okay so chain three going in and creating the shell three double crochet two chain space and three more double crochet everything else stays the same i'll meet you here on this side again Okay, so I've turned around, I've done my groups, I've done my three chain, I did my group, my three chain, we're coming back into the loops. Now we're decreasing on the loops, obviously, because we're creating the pineapple. Okay, so we had 18 loops, this row you should have 17 loops, and then 16, 15, until we get only one loop left. Everything else stays the same, it's just a repeat now of the same thing until we have one loop left. And once we have one loop left, I'll come back to you at the end of all the loops being done until we um, have only one left, okay? So just repeat everything as we've been doing exactly the same until the last loop and I'll come back to you. Okay, everyone, so we have the one loop left. We're going to do four chain, one, two, three, four, Come into the loop, single, one, two, three, four, and continue your, your groups. We're going to turn around. Do the walk with a slip stitch through the group, single to chain as we've been doing.
So we've done our two groups. Now we're going to go directly into the next space and create the groups. Every chain stays the same here at the edge. Turn around, create the group again. And then after this, we're going to go into the hearts. So after creating the three chain, we come directly with a single. Chain three again, directly in the next space with a single. Chain, chain three again, and create your group on your last one. I've turned around. I'm going to create my group as usual. Chain three into the center with a single. Chain three and create your group again. Turn around, create your group. We need to block this before we do the hearts. We need to stretch out the pattern. So I'll be putting a laundry softener and I'm going to iron it, stretch it so I can advance. So after creating that group, we're coming in directly and create the group here. I'm going to do three rows like this of groups. Turn around and create two more rows of the same groups. So we'll have a total of three rows. Okay, create yours. This is one, then two, and then one more row. So I've turned around, I created three double crochets. I'm going to go directly, and this is the last row for that. I'm going to go and block my pattern and then come back to you and do the hearts. Okay, everyone, so I've blocked my pineapple. I am going to go to video two for the uh, hearts if you want to leave it just like that and not at hearts then then it's fine you can just leave it like that and fix your leaves if you have um, hot gun glue then all you do is fix your leaf to fit on top of the pineapple on the other side and on top of the pineapple a little bit on this side I create the hearts for the people that are creating the hearts so slip stitch knot I'm going to come and work on these ones here 
So I'm going to come to my first one. With a single. One. Two, three, four. I'm coming in my second chain and I'm creating inside of this chain four more. So we're going to have a total of five double crochets. And what we're doing here, we're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. So I have five and we're going to create five more incomplete. Five incomplete double crochets. Take out two, take out two, take out two, take out two, and the last two. I'm going to grab a smaller hook to fit my beads in. These are eight millimeters, but you have to have a hook that fits properly into the hole because some of them are eight millimeters, but the hole is too small. Put my bead on the hook. I'm going to skip this space and I'm going to hook it here on the second one. So skip this one. Come in from the inside. Pull your thread. and go through your bead and slip stitch. One, two, and three. I'm coming in the first one and doing my five double crochets again. So it's always gonna be repeatedly like this. Five double crochets and five incomplete. And five. Take out two. Take out two. Take out two. Take out two. And the last two. Change my hook, take my bead, I'm going to skip a space and I'm coming in to the second one. I'm going to pull my thread and I'm going to slip stitch through it and slip stitch over the bead. One, two, and three. Come in the first one. And do your five double crochets again. So always skipping one space into the next. Put your bead, pull it through, all the way to the end. I will meet you here at the end. Five, whoops, So we have the five double crochets. Now we're going to do five incomplete. Oh, 
Oh, what was I thinking? Take out two. Take out two, take out two, take out two, and the last two. Skip. two and three and continue on from there okay everyone so I've added my last bead on the last one I'm going to come in here three chain I'm gonna do a picot one two and three into the same one we did the picot and three more chain for my third picot Try to pull this string here. And just hide it the best way you can. And I'm going to make a knot just to make sure that nothing falls apart on the back. And I'll repeat the same process here. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished doing all of the hearts and the pearls. Okay, when I came to the end on this one, I just did a slip stitch attached to the next uh, uh, peacock. I also glued my two leaves, just a half, onto the pattern here. So they can stay and if you want your hearts to stay a little bit more flat without them flipping then you can just add a little bit of glue on the inside and just squeeze it down it doesn't take much just a little bit and I only did a few so you see I have some loose but I did a bit on this side so you can do the same I will have the video and the reveal shots at the end I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to every single one of you. Please give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. And we'll see you next time in the next tutorial. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care. Bye -bye.